Good morning, Sweet Home. Today is Monday, May 10th, and it is the day four. I'm Emma Zulzberger, and here are today's morning announcements. Good morning Panthers, it's currently 43 degrees, the high today is 54 and it's going to be partially cloudy. Have a great day. This is your last chance to purchase a yearbook. Our yearbooks are en route from the school to Jocelyn Plant in Nashville, which means it is your last chance to purchase. We have approximately 70 yearbooks left, and once they arrive, none are guaranteed unless pre-ordered. Copies in school will be $90 cash or check and can be purchased beginning at the end of May. You are going to want to snag a copy of this year's artifact and look back at what 2020 and 2021 meant. This past Tuesday, the Sweet Home Esports team competed in the opening day of the 2020-2021 esports season with a resounding defeat of their Notre Dame opponents. The good guys led by Avery Fields and supported by Isaac Rivera and Shaunalia Hunda turned in a first win of the newly formed league, taking their opponents to the mat and winning the first three games in straight sets to take the best of five handily. The Spartans, led by Connor W., Seamus Tracy, and Isaiah Kelly, had a great match going with a game each, and the Spartans leading the third game in a best of three out of five before the internet blew a fuse and shut them down, forcing a rescheduling of the match. Sweet Home's third team, the Panthera, led by Josh McGreevy, Carter Russell, and Julian Sanchez, took the easy way out and accepted a forfeit when the opposing team couldn't connect to the Discord server channel because they couldn't find the any key to start the match. A great outing for Sweet Home as we look to continue our winning ways next Tuesday. Each year, millions of Americans face the reality of living with mental illness. During the month of May, there is a national movement to raise awareness about mental health. The goal is to provide support, educate the public, and advocate for policies that support people with mental illnesses and their families.